tensions in the Middle East are escalating again this morning after officials confirm an Israeli missile has hit Iran. Now, this is the latest in a series of back and forth attacks. Just days ago, you'll remember Iran launched more than 300 drones and missiles at Israel. Before that, an Israeli strike hit an Iranian embassy in Syria. CBS News' Jared Hill has the latest on the developing situation. So this is a fluid situation, uh, but here's what we know right now. Two U.S. officials have confirmed an Israeli missile did hit Iran overnight. A senior Israeli official told The Washington Post the strike was intended to signal to Iran that Israel can attack its territory. Now, as far as damage goes, the New York Times is reporting Iranian officials said the strike hit an air base near the city of Isfahan. Now, that is home to some of Iran's nuclear facilities. But the International Atomic Energy Agency says the country's nuclear program was not damaged. Iran is really working to, to downplay this Israeli strike, at least publicly. State media posted this video of Iran's air defense shooting down what they called mini drones near Isfahan. There's also this video of a traffic circle with TV presenters. They're calling it a, a normal Friday. That seems to indicate that Iran is seeking to step down off the ledge, minimize uh, the uh, impact of the attack. Uh, and perhaps walk back down the escal escalation ladder from here. Now, what's not clear is whether Israel will act any further or if this apparent signal was enough. Remember, this comes just days after Iran fired hundreds of drones and missiles at Israel in response to what they say was an Israeli strike on an Iranian embassy. The White House has been working to squash this back and forth, and we haven't heard much from U.S. leaders yet, but we are hearing they did not endorse a response. Jared Hill. CBS News, New York. And U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken had already been scheduled to give a press conference later this morning. He's in Italy meeting with G7 foreign ministers. We'll be watching that and bring you any updates.